we done some trials with Phil a few years ago and that kind of uh, that kind of sparked the interest I guess and, and got us looking a little bit more at, uh, at things maybe that we could do differently. Uh, even even things like our farm layout and um, our road profiles and our, um, our farming system I guess so so we're constantly trying to improve our farm as to make all operations easier including harvesting um, so all the development we do is is to make the roads as long as we can and, and the headlands as good as possible and the whole whole farm good and accessible for for everybody the new harvesting um, project at the moment has that has the follow-up uh, as that that's probably the main thing that really made me keen on this the this trials this go round was the follow-up so so not only do we get the trials and the and the trial data but we'll get the the follow-up support um, from from yourself Phil and uh, and meeting with the with the harvester boys so that um, so that we can all share the information and, and actually learn something out of it um, because the sometimes the trials done in the past we, we were getting the information that was fair but we sort of never knew what to do with it and so now the challenge is to try and actually work out where what we can do with the information the results we get from the trial and, and, and if we can uh, if we can do things better I guess. We are looking more towards how we can base the our contract around that 90 tonnes um, per hour pour rate. So what we have to do, you know, we have to we have to work out how we can do that. So how to actually achieve it. So if we've got too much tonnes in the in the contract, if there's simply too much ground for the boys to cover in a day, uh, sometimes the 90 tonne per hour isn't achievable. We we actually need to push more through to get it done in a day. So so if we actually have to um, uh, hub basically um, uh, give some cane out to another contractor. That's something that we have um, that we have talked about, uh, while still making it worthwhile for our crew as well financially, um, profitable for the machine and also for the for the for the crew. There's a, there's a lot of factors to work out, but now we've definitely got a lot more information, and it's actually hard information. The trials were, were done on our farm. Um, on a day like the you know we actually got the real data there to have the to base the discussion on we weren't too surprised on the data that's right but um, but you always you, you do always have to ask the question and, and um, because even though we, we assume things a lot of the time when we're, we're not always right so we definitely have to continue to ask questions and, and make sure even if we are right we need to prove ourselves right all the time I think and um, and that the block that we done the trial in was a perfect block to do a trial in because I, I that's the kind of um, the kind of block that you can really um, either be profitable or not profitable just by doing things a little bit differently uh, because it was a it was a uh, beautiful crop of cane and everything was right um, about the crop and the presentation and everything. So there's there's uh, there was room to move there basically um, either to be profitable or or possibly not. 